my final resting spot. Well, certainly for tonight. And I've actually been here before, funnily enough. I was looking on the app, drove past, going somewhere else and thought, you know what, I'll stay there. Didn't even realize this is where I'd actually stayed. Van life, van life, van life. So Pepper and me are staying here. Uh, it's quite close to the road, but there is some embankment and it does get quiet after about, oh, I don't know, half seven, eight o'clock, it really does get quiet. You get the odd boy racer flying past beeping his own, but you get that everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, and any of those others of a strange persuasion, I'm undecided as yet. I'll probably decide once I have some breakfast. Uh, I certainly won't be going to the Pencil Museum in Keswick. Nah, mate, nah. And from there, I don't know. Uh, that's the joy of van life, isn't it? You can go where you want. Come on, Pep. Let's get going, love. Look at her, she can't wait. She can't wait. The difference in traffic between a, a weekend and a weekday is incredible. There is a massive difference. I'm quite shocked at the difference, actually. And of course, there is so many people up here now. That little village I've just been through during, what, two days ago. It was like a ghost town. Now it's absolutely packed. People parking on all the footpaths where there's signs saying don't park. Dogs everywhere, which we love. We're not gonna complain about that at all, but <laughs> the lakes just seems to, if you really want to enjoy the lakes, come out during the week. Don't come on a weekend. but I just fancy some fruity. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be staying tonight for too long, so really it's just more of a breakfast stop. Cheesy pasta pot. I've had that a couple of times and I've had too much curry. What quantity Zero. needed? Plastic bag. Zero. Select payment type. Insert cash or touch pay with card. 20 of the queens. Hang on, give me a load of shrapnel now. I know I complain that they're trying to get rid of cash, but coining out coppers, come on man. We don't want brass. <clears throat> right, need to get it van. Work out where we're going. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, I don't know. Drop me cheese. Uh, this van is a pigsty. Oh, we'll sort that out when we get back. I'm not saying so. Well, this is exactly what I told you about, about eating healthy when you're out in van life. It's not the easiest thing. It takes discipline. I know this is not the, the healthiest thing. I've got a, what, a pasty. I've got a pasty. I've got these for nibbles because Butcher got me onto these. I need to go to Cheese Eaters Anonymous. Uh, I just fancied something fruity and juicy because Kate Beckinsale's still filming now. <laughs> You've got an obsession with her, lad. And yoghurt, so yeah. And a little espresso just to work the boots up. So let me eat these in peace. You can bugger off. And where we're going from there, I've got absolutely no idea. I'm feeling a little bit drained today. Maybe that double espresso can pick me up. Boom! Right, I made the decision. I'm fed, I'm watered. I've had a little rest. I've had a little sit back at van. Got the internet on the laptop and I had a look. I'm gonna go to Coniston and I'm gonna go to Brown Howe Car Park. How now, brown cow? I'm going to get in one last sub paddleboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over towards Peel Island. Or Wildcat Island, as I've seen it, people call it both things. It's an island that's plonked in the middle of Coniston, and you can have a little bit of a sub board out. Chill out, have a little look around the tiny little island and come back. It's an easy one, and I think I'll do that as my last paddleboard here on this adventure. It's about 45 minutes hour drive, I think. Well, let's get going. So 
we are in Keswick and um, you know we were here last night and I've been thinking about the van quite a lot actually because I've come in to get some breakfast and what I've been thinking about is in the van I might actually get rid of the sink because I just don't use it I've just washed pots you know at the side of the forest or the stream or whatever things like that I might get rid of that and actually put a fridge in now I've been taking the mick out of a friend of mine for putting a fridge in his van but I've got yogurts and stuff and food and all I'm intending to do is put the food in the sink because it's a storage unit rather than actually using it for a sink and that would also get rid of the water bottle underneath it and give me a little bit more storage space so I might, might see how much it would be to get rid of that and have a little fridge put in there you go, put pause after me Busy, busy, busy. People, people, people. Oh my God, how it changes over the weekend, honestly. Yeah, oh my God, there's people everywhere. And why shouldn't there be? They're all coming out to enjoy the lakes. It's just when you've been here during the week and you've been traveling, there's just such a vast difference. It's quite shocking such a popular place and you know that um, the Lake District was only really became a popular location through Wainwright um, through his books and writing and it made it a commercial viable tourist place the Lake District and what's the irony of it is I mean look at look all the people the irony of it is that Wainwright was um, very uh, he didn't like people basically um, holy Christ, look at that. Uh, uh, <laughs> he didn't like people. Um, it was very insular and um, introvert. So it's quite a bit of an oxymoron, really. But yeah, during the Victorian era. Anyway, let's move on and get out of here. <sighs> Ambleside is always busy, let's face it. I'm in the wrong lane. Ambleside is always busy. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Well, I think today will probably be my last day. I'm actually quite tired, believe it or not. There is a, there's a few more camper vans came, uh, turned up last night. And one of them said to have a little fire, had the music blaring out till, oh, I don't know, what was it, half one, half two? So it's quite late night, it's actually about 10 o'clock now. Just decided to get out of my shack. So yes, I think this will probably be my last my last day. As in I'm probably gonna set off back home this morning, have a proper meal, shower, <laughs> watch a bit of TV, who knows? It has been an amazing trip. I've really, really enjoyed it, and I, I wish I really could have extended it by at least another week or so. But I can't, I've got to go back to work. Anyway, uh, if you've made it this far, thank you ever so much. We've had, well, we've been all over Anglesey, uh, we've done Snowdonia, we've done the Lake District. Where else have we been? Can't even remember where we've been. <laughs> Port Maddock, uh, we've been to uh, Ross, Ross and Niger in uh, Anglesey, we've been to uh, Port Diana Beach, where else have we been? We've been up mountains getting lost trying to find things. But anyway, thank you all for making it this far. It's been a blast. There will be some more van life videos coming real soon. I'll see you in some of the OTG adventures coming real soon. Bye bye. Ugh.